Hello everybody, Melissa from Melissa vs. Bad Magic here and I wanted to give you um, I think the final of the like more regular updates but we are four weeks post-op after hysterectomy and endometriosis excision with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. Now I had my four week check-in with the surgeon yesterday uh, it was just a phone call because there was no need to go in. He doesn't tend to do um, physical checks unless they're needed. Uh, and at this point, you would know if things are not going right. Uh, so we had our update and um, everything is going well. Uh, we discussed a few things, like I had a few questions. Um, so one of my questions was, will ovulation hurt now? And he said, the hope is that it will not because the pain was more likely to do with the endometriosis and the um, inflammation and just the irritation in the system rather than my actual ovaries. So crossing fingers and toes and hoping that is so. Though one thing I did recently learn is that even if you keep your ovaries, there is um, quite a high risk that your ovaries will fail early. And um, apparently as many as 40% fail within six months post-surgery. So. Hopefully that's not the case for me and I don't go into menopause early, um, but like I already said to my doctor, the fact that one week after surgery, I was in less pain than I would have been if I had had my period, it was due then, um, that says it all. And so what we discussed is that I am still really fatigued and not really um, building up again yet. Um, my orthostatic intolerance has been playing up, so my heart rate keeps rising very quickly. Um, so that's really dictating how much I can do. But he said he would not be berating myself just yet. And he said stamina is the last thing to return. And I would expect maybe another one or two months before I start to feel like myself again. Um, but he hopes that when I return to come, you know, a, a semblance of normal, that it will be a higher level of normal for me. Um, and that the endometriosis, the heavy painful periods, um, and all of the stress that it was involved with living like that would increase, you know, like increase my energy um, abilities. So that's what we're really hoping. Um, but I think it just takes time because I've always had heavy, painful periods. I've also had four children in the last nine, ten years. Uh, and like over the last year, particularly, it was really getting difficult. Every single period was so painful. And the pain started before the actual period, then the actual period was so painful, and then it carried on for quite a while, then there was a, a small gap, then my ovulation pain started, then there was a small gap, and then the next one came. Um, and so it really did consume a lot of my life. So letting the um, inflammation kind of go away, uh, and then letting my body get used to the fact that we're safe now, and that stuff is not happening anymore, we're not losing blood, I should be able to keep my iron levels to a healthy level. Um, that thing, that stuff will all come out in the wash. Interestingly, my low back is the main problem. It is really sore um, and it has been since surgery. So I think that it was flared up by surgery and by having to lie on my back because I've never lied, lie flat on my back. It has not been the same since my last um, pregnancies where I had severe pelvis issues. Um, and so that's been the big issue, but also I think not moving as much. Um, has been a problem but I am cleared to slowly resume my old activities so I will be doing more yoga I have already been doing my pelvic tilts and then I just started to be moving it into like cat and cow pose being gentle with my stomach because I still do have a bit of sensitivity there because um, the inside stitches won't have gone away yet um, but the um, surgeon expects that they're all fully healed it's just that the stitches take time to go away and that's basically a foreign body inside your body and it's holding things um you know in a, in a slightly unnatural way so that will all clear up as they clear away um, but i'm going to start doing more of my yoga um, and i'm already naturally increasing my steps uh, so even though i'm not going out for specific walks um just because i don't really have the time or the energy and i'm a little bit nervous about the orthostatic intolerance uh, like i said my heart rate keeps rising too quickly and then i feel like I have to sit down really quickly and then afterwards I just feel exhausted. Um, luckily I'm recovering from those pretty quickly, but I'm not going out for special walks, but I'm still getting, like yesterday I did five and a half thousand steps. Uh, so I am slowly trending in the right direction and 
prior to surgery, 6,000 steps was about what I did if I wasn't going for a specific walk um, in the day, because um, I'm a pretty active person. I've got four kids to run around after, so we're slowly building up the steps uh, and we're slowly kind of heading back towards normal. Um, I did get a bit overwhelmed yesterday thinking, gosh, you know, my neck is still such a problem. And obviously, surgery for endometriosis and hysterectomy isn't going to magically make my neck fix. Um, and I did have really high hopes for the fatigue, but it is too early to be worrying about that. So I'm trying to tell myself to not um, worry too much about that. But at four weeks, I feel like things are going really well. I'm starting to get back into a rhythm. Everyday tasks are still difficult. It is still difficult. Like if my two-year-old decides he doesn't want to be cooperating, um, it is a bit tricky. Um, but you know, you work around things, um, that's how it works as a mum, and I'm just taking more time to do things. There's certain things I am not doing. Um, obviously I'm not, um, taking my big full washing basket out to the line and then putting it on the line, because even before surgery, uh, the heart rate didn't really, my blood pressure and my heart rate didn't like it. You know, when you lean down to pick something up and then you're leaning up to put it on the line, just that changing in um, position was not, um, something I was tolerating. So I'm not going to do that now. And I'm not lifting... Um, anything like I'm cleared he didn't give me any kind of lifting um, restrictions but I just don't feel like it's a good thing to do and I've got a bit of discomfort um, in my lower stomach just like the inside I just think it's all healing itself so I'm just following my my guidelines my boundaries but um, I do have a rack set up so I can put the washing on the rack so we're not getting behind on the rack uh, on the laundry so I am I'm getting there but I'm not normal yet um, but I feel much like myself in a lot of ways, I'm just a bit more tired, like my fatigue baseline is higher, my lower back and neck baselines are higher, and I'm having a lot of headaches, um, but I'm going to see my physiotherapist on Thursday. So as long as the orthostatic intolerance and my nervous system don't go nuts from treatment, or for trying to treat me, as long as we can get some treatment going and we can calm down these trigger points and my yeah, my neck is really tight. <laughs> but as long as we can maybe calm these down, then hopefully that will alleviate the neck pain and the headaches, um, which will help rather a lot. So I'm feeling more normal, but um, everything outside of period stuff is just a little um, elevated, which is, I think, to be expected, but also, you know, it's never easy to deal with. So yeah, that's how it's going. Um, it is really positive. I'm really excited. I'm so pleased I've done it. I'm so pleased that I no longer have it sitting over me, okay, well, my period is due then, um, oh, I've got this pain, oh, I don't know what it's going to be like, oh, I better time the medicine, or, or, you know, you just, and then that knowing what is happening, like, not knowing what it was, not being sure if it was endometriosis, not knowing if it was going to keep progressing, because it really did progress pretty, um, like, violently over the last year, that knowing now, it's out of my body, it's done, it was endometriosis, um, that really is helping as well um, and so for that alone I think um, it was worth it so really happy really thankful um, it hasn't been easy but it has been better than I expected um, just I'm a resilient person I have really good coping mechanisms in place but also I just I think I did really well um, so yeah let me know um, I'm sharing this because I wanted more information it just wasn't there um, when I was looking for what it was like before surgery. So if you have any experience with this, please do leave your story in the comments so that we can um, just share that information because it's it's not very nice going in blind and not having any sense of how things are going to turn out. Obviously, everybody's different, but let's share the knowledge and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.